Hey YouTubers, this is going to be a video concerning the Harley check valves that leak. This valve right here is one I bought thinking mine was bad. At that time I didn't know how they were repaired. Some Harleys you can buy a tool that goes up in there and pulls all that out. On my bike is a 2000 Road King, so you can manually take this apart like I did. So this video is to show you how to take these O-rings out of here. This check valve here is the one that came out of my bike. It's the pressure, high pressure valve. My tank has two on the bottom. One's a return, and it has a small hose on it, which the high pressure is a long 22-inch hose. I bought one, looks like about 18 inches, thinking it was the right one, but it wasn't. So, here's, here's how this is put together. When you first walk up you actually do not have to pull this part off but I did it's easy it's got this uh, snap ring around the bottom take that off this comes off I guess it's just a little easier to go down in there it's, that's not hard to take off so around the edge first is a o-ring and it just comes right out if you use a little small pick, you know. Then, in the bottom, you have th this set up. It's a spring and a check valve and an O-ring that sits on top like that. So, to get it out, you push down with a small screwdriver on this valve which is inside like that and then you best way you can do it is to work this o-ring out i use a you can use a pin i got a really super small screwdriver i bent it i worked it around the top and get behind it and pull it and then just work it out the best way you can that's that's how it's in there so you just have to use your expertise and work it out but that's all it is this this one here is around the top of of this and this o-ring that sits uh, just let's see just under these ball bearings um, also you better watch these ball bearings they if they fall out which mine did they're right there uh you, you know you would be hard to find them so make sure that uh you, you might want to put a piece of tape or something around those or, or take them out whatever you want but you know that's all it is to it this little small one which i'll be replacing too it goes into the hose coming from the injector that snaps up in here. So I'm going to be replacing both of these ho these uh, O-rings. And um, that's all there really is to it. Harley wants to charge you $100, $200 for everything, which this is real, really easy. I mean, once you get them O-rings out, they're not hard to get back in. So, um, I hope that helps. And by the way, this is a 2000 Road King. So, um, this valve, uh, the O ring did not fit mine, which Drag Specialties I bought it from. It doesn't, it says it fits it, but it, this O ring. I tried to replace this o-ring in mine it does not it's not the same size as mine it's actually a little bigger you can see right there 
it's a little bigger so I'm waiting on o-rings so I can fix mine but that's all there is to it with this you don't need no special tool that some of these Harleys you have to have special tools to uh, take these apart not on my bike so if you got one that like mine yeah, this video is for you I mean it's not the greatest video but at least it shows how this comes apart okay youtubers <laughs>